You know, Elon Musk just announced a plan so completely out there, it honestly makes sending people to Mars seem like a weekend project. He wants to build a software company that is run entirely, and I mean entirely, by AI, to go head-to-head -head with one of the biggest companies in the world, Microsoft. This is the wild story of MacroHard. So it all kicked off with this single post on X. On August 22nd, 2025, Musk drops this bombshell. And at first, you know, everyone just figured it was a joke. I mean, macro hard. Come on. But it wasn't. Turns out XAI had already gone and filed a trademark for the name. This little tongue-in-cheek announcement was actually a declaration of war. All right, so what is this crazy vision, really? Let's dig into the core idea behind what he's calling macro hard. Okay. So the logic here, at least from Musk's perspective, is pretty straightforward. He figures that since software companies don't actually make physical things, it should be totally possible to just simulate their entire operation with AI. Just think about that for a second. A company with zero human developers, no project managers, no customer support team, just a massive coordinated hive of AI agents doing everything. And the sheer scope of this is just staggering. We're not talking about AI tools helping humans code faster. Nope. Musk is talking about AI completely replacing the entire workforce, writing the code, testing it for bugs, handling customer support calls when things break, and even figuring out how to market and sell the final product. The vision is for a company that never sleeps, running completely on its own 24 seven. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like pure science fiction, right? And it's so easy to just dismiss it. But before you do, you really have to look at the guy who's making the promise. Because this whole crazy idea, it follows a pattern he's used before. Let's be honest. Betting against Elon Musk has historically been a very, very expensive mistake. Think back to 2008. SpaceX was on the verge of bankruptcy after three failed launches. The experts all called it a delusion. While today, it completely dominates the space industry. That same year, Tesla was about to collapse, and critics were saying mass-market electric cars were impossible. Today, it's the most valuable car company on the planet. You see the pattern here? He has a knack for turning impossible ideas into inevitable realities. And when you look at it, MacroHard is just the classic Musk playbook, but applied to a whole new industry. Step one, you identify the fundamental bottleneck that everyone else just accepts. In this case, the time, the cost, and the messiness of human software developers. Step two, you use a disruptive new technology, AI agents, to just get rid of that constraint entirely. But here's the real kicker, the thing that makes this time different. Unlike the early days of SpaceX and Tesla when he was scraping by, Musk now has virtually unlimited resources. XAI's Colossus supercomputer is being built with over 100,000 GPUs. That is an insane amount of raw power. It's the kind of computational horsepower you need to even try something this ambitious. He's not starting from zero this time. He's starting the race with a massive, massive advantage. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The challenge here is absolutely monumental. To really get what Musk is trying to do, we have to appreciate the sheer scale of the giant he's picking a fight with. Microsoft isn't just a company. It's a digital fortress, a towering Goliath. I mean, the David versus Goliath setup here is almost comical. You've got Microsoft on one side with over 220,000 human employees, decades of built-up trust, and an $80 billion annual budget for capital expenses. And on the other side, a brand new startup with a totally unproven idea based on a hive of AI agents. The contrast just could not be more extreme. And you have to understand, Microsoft's real power isn't just Windows or Office. It's this deeply woven ecosystem that's almost impossible to escape. Their Azure cloud is the backbone of countless huge companies. Office 365 has over 400 million subscribers who are locked in. But maybe their single biggest advantage is just trust. Big companies choose Microsoft because it's the safe, reliable, predictable choice. And that's a reputation that takes decades to build, not just a few clever tweets. So this really brings us to the heart of the matter. It's a clash between the incredible, mind-bending promise of AI versus the huge, unsolved, real-world technical problems that are standing in the way. This, right here, is the battleground. Now on paper, the advantages are just revolutionary. An AI-driven company could, in theory, develop software 10, maybe even 100 times faster than human teams. It could run at almost zero marginal cost, just cranking out new products and features 24-7, without ever needing a coffee break. And it would be totally free, not held back by decades of old, clunky legacy code. 
It's an amazing vision, it really is. But everything, and I mean everything, hinges on one simple, critical question. Is the AI we have today even remotely capable of pulling something like this off? And here's the reality check. The technical hurdles are just enormous. First off, getting thousands of different AIs to work together effectively on a complex project is a problem nobody has solved yet. And today's AIs, as good as they are, still make subtle, hard-to-find mistakes that can be incredibly costly. And then you have my favorite problem, the quality control paradox. If AI is doing all the work, who checks the AI's work? Do you just use another AI to check the first one? It's a massive problem that researchers are still trying to figure out. So look, whether MacroHard becomes a real competitor or just a fascinating expensive failure, the fact that it even exists has huge implications for all of us. Let's talk about what could happen and why this whole fight really matters. As I see it, there are basically three ways this could play out. You've got the super optimistic scenario where this thing actually works, and in five to seven years we have a legitimate alternative to Microsoft. Then there's the more realistic path, where MicroHard finds its footing and becomes a really powerful player, but only in specific niche areas of the software market. And finally, you have the pessimistic view, the technical challenges are just too big, and the whole company eventually pivots to just selling AI development tools to other people. But honestly, here's the most important takeaway from this whole thing. Even if MacroHard completely fails to take down Microsoft, its very existence is a huge win for us. It acts as this powerful force, this catalyst, that pushes Microsoft and every other software company to integrate AI faster, to innovate more, and ultimately, to give us all better and cheaper products. In the end, it's competition that really wins. So when you boil it all down, this story isn't really about Elon Musk versus Microsoft. It's about a much bigger, much more personal question for all of us. Are we standing on the edge of a new era? An era where AI can actually handle the complex, creative, collaborative work that we've always, always believed was uniquely human? MacroHard is the ultimate test case, and the answer, whatever it is, is going to shape all of our futures.